Hello everyone, I'm Olua Kemi Ugwa Keze and today's episode we are going to be looking at rewards in service. I'll be reading from the book of Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6. But without faith it is impossible to please and be satisfactory to him. For whoever would come near to God must necessarily believe that God exists and that he is a rewarder of those who earnestly and diligently seek him. As a servant, it becomes a you know, delight for us to serve our master because we know this our master is a rewarder and not a user of men. In Colossians tw- um, chapter 3, verse 23, from 23 to 24, whatever may be your task, work at it utterly from the soul as something done for the Lord and not for men, knowing with all certainty that it is from the Lord and not from men that you will receive the inheritance which is your real reward the one whom you are actually serving is the lord jesus christ the messiah and is the one that is going to reward you we serve god because we love him and he has blessings in store for his lovers first corinthians chapter 2 verse 9 but but as it is written i has not seen nor hear heard nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared, not for everybody, for those that love him, is only for his lovers. And serving God has this blessing and reward when in service. Once you are out of service, you are not entitled to any reward from the master as a servant. But when you are in service, you are in touch with the master, you are obeying the master, and you have the reward of the master. Exodus 23, 25 to 26, it says, You must serve the Lord your God, and if you do, The Lord will bless your food, He will bless your water, He will protect you from illness. There will be no miscarriages or infertility in your land. It's not only about fruit of the womb, but you know that everything you do will be will prosper, you will be fruitful, you will not miscarry your visions, you will not miscarry your dreams. So let's just look at few benefits, blessings, rewards that are in service. Number one is Father's honor. John chapter 20, John chapter 12, verse 36 says, If anyone serves me, him my father will honor. What a privilege to be honored by Father, all because we are serving him. There's prosperity. Prosperity. Job 36, verse 11. If they obey and serve him, it's not everybody. It's once you obey and you choose to serve him, they will spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasures. Number three, it gives us territories to cover. He said in Matthew chapter 25 and verse 21, His Lord said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You were faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Amen. Amen. Enter into the joy of the Lord. Number four is divine health. A faithful ambassador is health. That's Proverbs chapter 13, 17. When you are in service, when we are in service, God keeps us healthy. There's one prayer I always pray that um, the Bible says the harvest is plenty, but the laborers are few. I said, so the few laborers, God needs to keep them healthy for them to be able to do more work. And the fifth point, which is the last point I'm talking about, is access and visibility. Access and visibility. That Proverbs 22, 29, the Passion Translation says, If you are uniquely gifted in your work, you will rise and be promoted. You won't be held back. Hallelujah. You won't be held back. You won't be held back. Access and visibility. And you know another version says that you will stand before kings and not before me men. Even as you are serving, you yourself will become that king that people are standing in front. Just remain in service. And as I close, my dear worship leaders, my dear worship ministers, I will be reading 1 Corinthians a word of encouragement from the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and 58. I will read the Passion Translation and also the Amplified Version. So now, beloved ones, stand firm, stable, and enduring. Live your lives with an unshakable confidence. We know that we prosper and excel in every season. We excel in every season by serving the Lord. Hmm. Because we are assured that our union with the Lord makes our labor productive with fruit that endures. And the Amplified Version says, Therefore, my beloved brethren, my beloved worship leaders, ministers of the gospel, be firm, steadfast, immovable, 
always abounding in the work of the Lord, always being superior, excelling, and doing more than enough in the service of the Lord. Knowing and being continually aware that your labor in the Lord is not futile, is not wasted. So my charge to you today is remain in service. Remain in service so as to access the blessings in service. So till we come in our next episode, remain connected, remain rooted, remain planted. And let me have this, remain in service and God bless you. Thank you. Have a wonderful time.